What is up, my bananas, and welcome back to more. You know what freaking sucks, I can diff 91 this series, while I basically complain about something for a certain amount of minutes. Today's gameplay we got shown for you guys is Mario Kart 64. I love Mario Kart 64. This is actually one of the best games of my childhood. I got it when I was 10. I really honestly just love Mario Kart. You guys do not understand how much, but um, we're not here to fantasize over Mario Kart. Today's subject I got for you guys to talk about on you know what freaking sucks today is GameStop or game stores in general. Now keep in mind that I have lived in UK before and we don't have a GameStop up there, but we do have a game store that functions the exact same way as GameStop. I'm pretty sure every spot around the world has something that functions exactly like them. And I'm gonna go basically and diss upon them. Now keep in mind here, I'm not dissing the business practice of GameStop on today's you know what freaking sucks episode. I'm just inform you of things I don't like personally what they do and how they operate but like I say these people have to make a living they have to abide by these rules so I'm not offended I'm not angry at them I'm just stating things like I don't like personally now when I do go into a game store that allows you to sell games and buy games and and y'all you know, that jazz first and foremost it's a business now that part I'm not mad at they have to make a profit even if it is low down tactics they're the only person doing it, so you have to abide by those rules. See, when I do go into a game store that's like GameStop or GameStop itself, my intentions are to find a game that is hard to find. Sonic 06, for example, is a very hard to find game. So, if I were to go into my local Walmart or or whatever, Walmart, Toys R Us, whatever, they would not have Sonic 06. It would be out of stock. It would be hard to find. And therefore, GameStop would have a, a new copy of it. Now, with GameStop's logic, you know, power to the players, all that is complete bull. I've never traded in my games. I have never done that once. I, I let my friend borrow my Mar my uh, not Mario Kart. <laughs> I let my friend borrow my um my Mortal Kombat 9, and I'm really missing it. But I, I didn't play it. But that's the closest thing I ever went without having my games. I've never swapped my. I never did trade my games in the GameStop or anything like that. I don't trust them. And my games have history with me, so it's kind of hard for me. And I cling on too easily, so if something were to be gone, I would really, really miss it. But, um, you know, when you go in there and they offer you this and offer you that, you know, these ex these points and, and all this stupid stuff. I'm not mad at the, um, at the cashier because this is what they have to do. There is a camera constantly up. Therefore, they have to spam and advertise products. There is nothing wrong with that. However, I just don't like the way they do their games. Uh, in the end of the day, GameStop is a company, and you're there to bring your games to them. So, I don't like the how, how they operate the games. Uh, they open up their games, and they freaking put them inside this little plastic can, this little plastic thing. I don't even know what the freak that thing is. A little container. I'm pretty sure you have seen it. If you've been gaming, as long as I have, if you've been gaming for like at least about three years, you have been into a game store, I mean game store, similar to that and whatnot, and you've seen something like that. But they put their games in a little plastic thingy and then hurry up and just take it out when you want a game. The game's not new. The game can be scratched up and all that good jazz. And I'm being freaking sarcastic here, but... That's not sexy, baby. That's not sexy at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I got that off of a. Uh, that's not sexy, baby. I just wanted to use that for something, and it probably didn't backfired. But it's just uh, they, they as a company, they, they do suck. Like there's no power to the player. The player has is so limited to what they can do at a local game store, like a local. I'm stuttering here, like a local GameStop or anything. You. It's only good for finding, uh, I, I'm, by the way, I'm FYI, I kept dying here, but whatever. It's only good for, good for games that it's hard to find. And that's what people need to realize and quit dissing on them. Like, this it's not even more of a rant. It's more like a, I'm not defending them because, like I said, I don't like my games being a sloppy container. And, you know, I, you know, I, when I go into a local game store, I don't get the used version of a game unless you can't find the original. What I don't like about GameStop is the fact that they put those stupid stickers on your game. It's like get 60 used stickers on them. And plus, some some games do not have the original artwork to them. You know, like the art book or the booklet to them. That's not cool. That's the one thing that I don't like about GameStop. I like to have my artwork so easily identify with my games. I don't like not unorganized games. My games are organized by their genre. And, and if they're organized by genre, it's about... 
how, when I got it, and what. My Devil May Cry 3 has no has no um, has no artwork to it, so I have to put it in my Grand Theft Auto 3 uh, case, which is a regular DVD case. Which my dad we didn't use the DVD cases, but like that's that's not cool. Like just like what do you do with the artwork? And then they, then you ask them, can I get the original artwork? It's the least you could do is bring the original artwork to me. That, that's all I ask. But they do not have it. They say, you know, we don't have original artwork. And, and I'm dead, I'm dead serious about my game, right? I, I game, I, every game I got, I played it. At least a maximum, at least about five to ten hours of the game was, was challenging enough to get me to that point. And me just not having artwork, that actually aggravates me. Some people don't care, you know. I freaking care. GameStop is at one store, you are lucky enough maybe to find a Nintendo 64 game. If you're lucky, that is. But you're not. Like old stuff, like, you know, they, they still bump up some GameCube stuff, you know, some original Xbox, Walmart, and, and stores like that. They don't have that stuff like that. So that's where GameStop comes at. They're the only person doing it. Now they have taken out every other game store around me out of business because they just, I don't know, maybe it's almost a threat or competition. I do not know. GameStop's philosophy is power to the players. However, the players aren't really getting much power in this whole situation at all, are they? That's the problem I have with you, GameStop. You're not, you're not really caring for the games. You're kind of like this generation. It's all about the money, and nothing. No game is a good quality game anymore, as far as I can see, except something like Mario Kart or, or something like that. It seems like everyone just goes for the money, but. You know, whatever, you're a business first and foremost, and I guess customers comes last, whatever. But that's it, guys, you're in for more. You know what freaking sucks next week. Later, guys. God bless, peace, and thanks for watching. And don't worry, I will get a rematch. I will have more revenge. All right, guys, God bless, peace.